So my favorite memory about El Rancho, gosh, I don't know. I'll tell you, like, so before before Rancho even started for me, this is kind of funny. Um, I was announcing a show in Montana, and Andy and Jack Adams were the judges, and it was like the Montana Futurity, the Big Sky Futurity and Aged event. Anyway, we got done with got done with the set and walked outside, and Andy and Jack and I were talking, and Andy Adams, who's our monitor here, of course, was like, "Hey, you need to call this lady and." ask her about announcing a show and I the only reason I'd even started announcing cutting is because my mom cut and Will not all and a couple of guys in Montana and Jan Parker and them I was working at Billings Livestock and they're like you need to start announcing these cuts so I just did it just just cuz I was a team roping announcer so anyway we walk outside and Andy's like you got to call this lady in California so I'll never forget, I pull my flip phone out and I open it up and he gives me Carol Ward's number and I save it in my phone and I close it and I put it in my pocket and Andy's just looking at me. I mean, you guys all know Andy Adams. And I'm like, what? And he's like, call her right now. And I'm like, and say what? So I pull my phone out and this is about this time of year. I pull my phone out and I call her and I'm praying to God she doesn't answer the phone because I have nothing to say and she answers the phone. Carol answers the phone. And she's like, hello? And I'm like, hey, um, my name's Drew Stewart and I'm an announcer, do you need an announcer? And she's like, no, I'm good, I'm good. And, uh, but thanks for calling. And I was like, okay, super awkward, thanks. And so we, I hang up the phone and I'm like, thanks Andy, frick. So I felt like a total moron. Well, anyway, go through the season and about January, my phone rings and it's Carol Ward. And she's like, hey, I have a spring show coming up in April. Would you like to come announce? And I was like, yeah, sure, like totally random. So anyway, uh, that was my first kind of little aged event weekend show down here at Rancho, then did the did the big show, the Futurity, which we're at right now, and that kicked off my entire career in the cutting horse business. Um, Montana was the first one I'd done, but the big shows, Carol took, Carol took a uh, totally a leap of faith on some team roping dude from Montana and got me started and then from there it went from there to Idaho to the Bonanza to the Mercuria cuttings all over the country and the world finals numerous times and so you asked me what my favorite memory is probably the first time I talked to Carol and then since then she's you know Carol has become like my other mother but uh, so that's like business-wise my greatest memory. The other funniest memory is when I may or may not have had too much to drink one night and uh, I, w I was staying in Carol's house and I wake up the next morning to Jason Taylor calling me and he's like, hey, are you going to come to the show? And it's like 8 o'clock. Cattle in at 8, it's 8 o'clock. The cattle are in the pen. I'm still over at the house. And so I quick change my clothes because I was in my clothes on top of the bed. I'll never forget that. And I was so embarrassed. And so I jump in the golf cart and I come driving over and I screech up and I get up in the announcer stand and my hands are all sweaty and I can't get the national anthem to play because my hands are sweaty because I was, you know, anyway. And uh, I told everybody I made some joke about how I got a flat tire on the golf cart on the way over here and that's why I was late. So that's been a story that has stuck for a really, really long time. but. I don't know, there's a, there's a million great stories from Rancho. This has been the funnest show ever. We've had so much fun over the years. I mean, so much silly stuff. There's, I could sit here and think of 50 other stories and every year we sit down at the announcer stand and we all talk about them like B Matt and Shad Platt and I used to sit around the campfire over here and just, just, just be a mess and just have so much fun and Tom Diaz stories and we had a raccoon in a trailer down here a few years ago with Sarah and them, and that was really funny. And I don't know, but 
there's there's a lot of great stories. There's no other show like this. There's no other show, and I've announced everything under the sun. There's no this is an experience unlike any others, and thank God Carol let us all do it and invited us to come back. <laughs> she could have fired me a lot. <laughs> but anyway, so those are some of my great memories. But the greatest memory is her her calling me back and hiring me because that was that was part of my 20 year or 15 year career. So wouldn't be where I'm at without that phone call. So personally, it's probably my greatest memory.